Hello friends, it's Nathan Hoff and I want to tell you about some things that are coming. First of all, I'm kind of living in the afterglow of this last weekend as we had our Welcome Home Sunday and we gave thanks for the ministry of some key leaders in the life of Trinity over the last season, for Darcy Thornblad and for Don and Rowena Davis and for Paul Eric Norgard. Faithful, faithful leaders and it was right and good to honor them this last Sunday. This coming Sunday, we're going to be installing some of the new leaders for the next season in our life together here at Trinity. I'm looking forward because I'm so, so thankful for the leaders that God has brought together for this next season. Speaking of leadership, we have uh, been going in a long series uh, through the Gospel of Luke, and we come to these little mini-series that are within the Gospel of Luke, and chapter 9 is one of those very clear mini-series. In fact, Luke Timothy Johnson, a great commentator on the Book of Luke says uh, this chapter 9 could be titled uh, Preparing a Leadership for the People. And that's exactly what Jesus is doing. He's He's been forming in this theme in the Gospel of Luke a new people, a new Israel, a new house of God. Uh, not as a rejection of anything from the past, but as an inclusion into the promises of Israel for all of God's created people. And it's such good news, even the unexpected, and especially the unexpected, uh, according to Jesus in the Gospel of Luke. And I'm looking forward to continuing that theme, but especially in chapter 9 on this new leadership that Jesus is forming. I look all around right now, it's not just in the church, but in other places, a hesitancy that people have uh, for stepping into leadership. Uh, they, they might get criticized, they might be second-guessed, they'll be a target. I remember uh, Teddy Roosevelt, maybe you've heard this great, great um, speech he gave. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly and errs but comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. We're going to see that in the disciples but who does actually strike to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. The critic doesn't count. It's the one who's in the arena. And Jesus is calling his disciples as much as they fail, as much as we fail, as much as there's criticism around and the target on our backs. God is calling people with various sizes and spheres of influence to exercise that influence for the love of God, for the love of God for his world. Redemptive history didn't shut when the 66th book of the Bible was done being written. Redemptive history is open and alive now because the Spirit is alive right now and God is still calling people and forming them to be leaders in this new family, this new community, this new house that he is forming. We are a part of that house. In fact, Ephesians 2.22 is our theme verse that by the Spirit, he's building us to be a household. He's building us to be a household and he's making us to be leaders of this new house so I want to invite you over this next, uh, between now, September 15th and uh, about Thanksgiving time, we're going to be looking at the, go uh, the Gospel of Luke chapter 9 and a new kind of leadership that Jesus is forming. We're going to see the contrast in an old kind of leadership like Herod. We're going to see uh, disciples who dare greatly and fail greatly and yet depend on the grace of God even more greatly. And I want to invite you, this is an important series, Trinity, in redemptive history that's happening right now. Come and join us. Welcome home.